Everybody. Welcome to my art room. Today I wanted to show you something. I got these neat little bottles that I'm going to put some paint in. And it came, I think, 12 in a package on Amazon. And they come with labels. These bottles, they have a measurement on the side. They hold four ounces, or five ounces actually. Comes with a funnel. And it's got a great top for if you're doing flowers or you want to do fine work. You can see that hole. Anyway, it's great, has a little red lid. So I'm gonna give these a try. I also have these bottles that I bought at a dollar store and they're great too. The tips are a little finer than this one. They, they do plug up easier than this, but you have, there's a choice of thin, and these are thin, but not as thin as, as that, maybe maybe about one and a half of those anyway I'll show you in my video when I do it so I made up some silver paint so I mixed one part paint and one part Floetrol and this is a Liquitex basics paint so it's a bit thicker the tube paint this is silver and if you're mixing, so that's one to one ratio, Botrol and paint and water. And the consistency of this is it makes a bit of a mound and then goes away. But I don't want these to be too thin because I can always thin them down later for different techniques. So I'm going to do a balloon dip so I don't want it too runny. And. Yeah, so that's uh, what I was going to show you. And also, this paint, DecoArt Americana, it's like a craft paint. The Americana is a good brand of paint. If you're mixing this with Floetrol, I only use one part paint to half a part Floetrol. So if you're using one ounce of paint, you use a half an ounce of Floetrol and water to thin. Because these are a lot thinner than the tube paints. So I'm just going to pour this in here. And I'll show you in my next video some of these paints and the bottles. Hardly any on there. Does that work good? You don't even spill a drop. Put your lid on. You're good to go. They come with labels and a pen that you can mark the color on. You can always erase it. So they say, there you go. And then rewrite what's in there. Okay, that's my little demo. So today I'm going to do, I'm gonna do, as I find some gloves, I'm gonna do a, balloon dip 
because they're one of my favorites to do. And it's not going to be from a spiral or a swipe. It's just going to be paint thrown on the canvas and then dipped. So I'm going to do a couple. This one I'm going to do some blues and purples. So I've got my Rust-Oleum White Metallic Pearl, which is this that I've been using lately. Comes, I bought this at Home Depot. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use Dioxazin Purple by Liquitex Basics. I'm going to use Cobalt Blue by Liquitex Basics. I'm going to use Light Blue Violet by Liquitex Basics. And some Silver Basics. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this purple that I have, a color shift paint. I don't think I will this time. Oh, well, maybe I'll put a little bit in. So it's Color Shift by Folk Art Metallic. All right. So I'm going to lay down some white paint. This is um, Basics and Artist Loft together. Find uh, my palette knife. So for a balloon smash, you don't want it too runny or the balloon smashes won't look so defined and it's good to have some dark color light color like a contrasting colors this is a I think this is 10 by 10 or 12 by 12. Ten. ten by ten. So the weight doesn't have to be really thick because I'm going to put a lot of paint on here. But you want it to show through too when you're dipping some of the weight. Alright, I think this is good. I'll paint my sides when it dries. I'm going to start with some uh, prism. Oh, this is dioxazin purple. And I'm just going to do some random squiggles here and there. That's dioxazin purple, and this is cobalt blue. I like these bottles too. I actually need to get more of these. These you can pick up at the dollar store or Amazon, maybe even Walmart. This is a light blue violet. Oh, this even looks pretty just the way it is. <laughs> fun. It's three that I've used. I know this white <coughs> probably will get blended in with the, the white underneath, but I'll put some in anyway. 
I'll put more on top. Let's try some silver. See how my nice new bottles are doing. Beautiful. Try to make sure there's colors in all the white, big white spots. So you don't get a white flower. I'll try some of this color shift. Blue violet. I don't have much in here, I don't think. It's a nice shiny paint. There, I'm almost out. May as well finish it. Okay, that's enough of that. Oops, sorry. Getting too carried away here. Okay, that's empty. Well, I think that's uh, pretty good colors. I'm gonna put some more of this white. Maybe a little bit of the dark, and then I'm done. Wow. That looks cool just like that. I love it. <laughs> I think it's pretty colors. So I've got two small balloons. I think I'm going to get a larger balloon. It's this pretty old balloon. But it's a bit bigger. I'll use it. Get some paper towel to dab on. So I'm not making another canvas out of this. Okay, so let's try this. See if I got enough paint to make a pretty balloon smash. I'm gonna try a large one first. Whoa, isn't that beautiful? Amazing. I wonder if I can just dab it on this paper and see what it looks like. big one right here. Wow. I'm not liking the center of that. That's better. Okay, now I'm going to try my. Let me try this one. Woo! 
Look at that. Trying a little wee baby one now. This would look so pretty in a little girl's room or somebody that has purple in their bedroom. Awesome. It's almost done.
I like it to come off the side like that. Well, I think maybe a couple more. Spots at the edge, just just in the middle. Just maybe I'll use this one. It's got a bit of a pointy end, and I'll just do the little one there. to get rid of the wiggly lines. Some of the wiggly lines are okay. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, do you think I'm done? I think. mind these little black lines going through. It looks kind of neat. Oh, let me hear. Do like a little dab so it looks like a little baby flower in there. Love it. I think I'm done. That side's good. Side's good. I'm done. I don't think there's anything else to do. I could take a little here. Okay, that's enough. There, I love it. I absolutely love this. Some days you just pick the right colors. Look at that. Isn't that most beautiful colors? I can't wait to see what it looks like dry. I've never used silver. And I usually use gold. But this is silver and then I got the metallic pearl white in there too. So it'll show up in different spots. Very pretty, very pretty, pretty. It's gonna give this side a there. Thanks for coming by. Hope you enjoyed this one. Just make sure your paints aren't too thin when you're doing this. And a consistency of it makes a little mound in your paints and then goes away. So that way your balloon smashes are very, very distinct and they don't run into one another. Okay, I'm gonna go. Come back soon to my art room. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications. When I do another one, you'll be notified. And hit the like button if you sh choose to. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Hi, everybody. Came to look at my dried results of my beautiful dip. Look at those colors, They're so pretty. 
silver and the purple and the blues color shift paint awesome I love it dried nice and smooth no problems at all there you go all right have a great day everybody bye bye